These are also amazing. I'm telling y'all, I got some really good stuff. Life has been just very lifey lately. <laughs> Not keeping anything. <laughs> Everything has to go. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I have a haul video for y'all. I have a bunch of stuff from a home in Louisiana because like I told y'all, I brought some stuff down here for y'all that's gonna go up on the website. And then I also went to this thrift store, the Overflow Outlet. If y'all remember, I went there a few months ago and they were clearing out warehouses full of stuff. I went back and I got a bunch of stuff that I'm gonna show y'all and all of this is available on my website, juliesdesignsandsigns.com. And I wanna thank Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. That is who hosts my website. So let's start with the stuff from Louisiana and then I'm gonna show y'all everything that I got from the Overflow Outlet. All of the things that are coming from my house in Louisiana, I'm gonna put it in its own collection in the home decor section. It'll be called, you know, the Louisiana collection or something like that, just so you know where it came from, if you care at all. <laughs> and I'll probably be adding stuff to there, even if I don't show it on film. So that way, if you wanna check and see if there's anything new, you will know where to find it. So I have a set of three of these. And they were actually in my bathroom in Louisiana. And y'all, they say made in Belgium. I think I got these from an estate sale back home. And they are beautiful. They are so beautiful. So if you are into amber glass, these are definitely some very unique pieces. And they will be sold as a set. And then I have two of these beautiful brown pictures. I believe these also came from estate sale. I'm not gonna sell them together. I will sell them separately. And I'm gonna leave this floral in here just because I feel like it goes perfectly with this brown pitcher. They are very well made. And as you can see, it's a nice size. So I have a bigger one. And then I also have a smaller one. Y'all know I love Krill artwork and I have quite a few pieces. So today I'm just gonna show y'all a few of them, but coming up, there's gonna be a lot more girlier pieces. These are, this is the stuff from Whalen's Room. As y'all know, I went with a very nautical theme in there, but he's getting a little bit older. So I'm gonna let this stuff go. This is a beautiful lighthouse. I love the colors. I think I might've painted the frame because he had that navy blue furniture in his room and then i painted the frames the same colors so i have this one and then look at this boat y'all it is beautiful this piece is very very large and amazing so if you are looking for some unique nautical pieces i have got you covered and then this piece i had in my bathroom in the outside kitchen I'm kind of tempted to keep it, but I really don't have anywhere to put it. It is so beautiful. It's all these seashells and it even has some typography at the bottom. It is just absolutely beautiful. I love, love, love this piece. Y'all know there's gonna be some baskets. So this basket was actually in Ren's closet. I was using it to put her dirty clothes in. It does look like a longer burger basket. I think I'm saying that right, but it does not have any markings on it. So I'm not positive, but it is a very, very well-made basket. It has feet on the bottom. So I use it for dirty clothes, but if you watch one of my thrift lift videos, I actually made her another basket for over here. So I'm gonna keep the one that I made and I'm gonna let this one go. So as you can see, it is a very good size. I love this kind of grayish blue stripe it has in it. It goes perfectly with my house, but I don't really have a spot for it. So I'm gonna go ahead and let that piece go. There's gonna be lots of good artwork coming up because I had a ton. My walls were covered with beautiful, amazing, unique artwork. And this piece is no exception. It is beautiful. I had this piece in my outside kitchen. I found it at a, an estate sale. It was in kind of a rough shape, but I just cut off the parts that weren't so good and I framed it. And let me see if y'all can really see that texture up close. It is beautiful. I absolutely love this piece. I love the colors. It is definitely perfect for spring. And I have this basket. It's kind of like a little tchotchke basket. I had it hanging this way and then I had, you know, cute little florals and figurines and stuff in it. But it could also be hung this way, just whatever you want. Or 
I thought it looked really cute on a coffee table as well and then you could put stuff in it I don't know I feel like there's a variety of options I loved it from the moment I saw it and in all my thrifting adventures I have not come across another one so it is wood along all the edges and then it has the woven part it is amazing if you know what this originally was definitely leave me a comment below but like I said I used it like one of those little wooden tchotchke holders except this one's you know basket and more my style and then this rusty crusty piece is actually from a home here I purchased it a very long time ago over a year and I just haven't found the perfect spot for it I just don't have a lot of surface areas here to really put this kind of stuff to decorate I see it as a tree and then just put some books in it maybe a plant I think that would look really really cute so if you are wanting to add some rusty crustiness to your home you could actually if you are worried about it rubbing off on anything what I would do is I would coat it with a sealer and then you could even put some little you know pads at the bottom but it's beautiful I love it you could even you know put it like this lots of options so if you're looking for something rusty and crusty I got it so that's all the items from a home that will be available on this sale. But guys, there will be lots more. We're still unloading our trailer. We're still unpacking stuff. So I'm going to tell y'all a little bit about today's sponsor, Squarespace. And then I'm going to show y'all some of the items that I got from the Overflow Outlet. All right, I want to tell y'all a little bit about Squarespace's plans and pricing. Squarespace has four different plans for you to choose from, and these are the monthly prices. But guys, you could save up to 30% if you pay annually. So I highly recommend that if you are planning to start your website. If you are wanting to start a store, you would want to choose the business plan, the basic commerce plan, or the advanced commerce plan. And if you scroll down, it'll show you all the different options. Now I wanna point out with the business plan, it does charge you 3% on your transaction. So if you're gonna be selling a lot, I would highly recommend upgrading to one of the commerce plans, but it comes with all the extensions that you need to run your business. And as you scroll down, you will be able to see all the different options that each plan has to offer. So if you think that you're interested in starting your own online store, y'all go check out squarespace.com slash Julie's Designs and Signs. And Squarespace is giving my viewers 10% off when you use code Julie's Designs and Signs. And of course, I will have a link to all of that in the description below if y'all would like to check it out. Okay, now let's get to the Overflow Outlet Haul. I'm just actually going to show y'all a few of the my most favorite things that I got there because I got so much. So if you want to see the entire video and everything that I purchased, y'all go check out the videos on my Facebook page and I'll put a link in the description below for y'all. It was a little bit dark there, so it was hard to film like good quality video <laughs> that YouTube likes. So I just figured I would put the full video over on Facebook and then show y'all some of my most favorite items here. Lots of brass, y'all. I got tons and tons of brass, and I just love, a lot of times when I find brass is very ornate, and I love the simplicity of this little vase here. And you can put a flower in it, or you can just leave it as is. I think it looks, definitely it looks great with the decor in my home. And then I found this copper piece. It says, made in Portugal. I have never seen a little moon like this before so i snagged that i'm pretty sure this piece is handmade but i'm not positive it's definitely unique so i was getting it this is not brass although it does look like brass um but yeah it's just like a little seashell on here how cute and unique is this piece i absolutely love it okay i picked up only two christmas items because at this point it has to be pretty unique for me to be picking up Christmas items because it's almost Christmas. <laughs> Look at this Santa. It is signed at the bottom, so it is handmade. And I think he is absolutely precious. I am very tempted to keep him, but I am not. I'm not keeping anything. <laughs> Everything has to go. I also think this piece may be handmade, but I could totally be wrong. It's a little metal sled 
and then it has a little wooden piece on it and then it has some greenery and then it has this little wooden rabbit and I just thought it was ador adorable. I would actually maybe even keep this out all year. It is that cute. And then I found two of these white quails. I'm going to say that I may even like these more than the brass quails. I don't know, y'all. I've just been really drawn to these white, glossy white figurines. I just think they're so beautiful. So I'm definitely going to keep the set together. I love them. Absolutely love them. And they are a really good size. And then I got this basket. Look at the little wavy wire. It is so cute. I have one very similar to this on my entertainment center and I have some piano rolls in it and a little plant and it looks really cute. So I would just treat it as like a tray or a little basket and just fill it with stuff. And then, you know, the great part about this basket is you can see through it. So the decor you put in it, you could see it. And it does have a little bit of rust on it, which just makes it, you know, extra great. These will also be sold as a set. Look how cute these little ducks are. I don't think they're wood. I think they're some kind of other material, but they definitely have that hand carved look to them and they just look old and vintage. And I, I really love these. I'm not gonna keep them though. I'm gonna let them go. <laughs> these are also amazing. I'm telling y'all, I got some really good stuff at the overflow outlet. So this is hammered copper and I love Love, love the detail here. It almost looks like a little flower. It is beautiful. I have two of them. They have beautiful patina. I'm going to sell them together as a set. And they have a nice weight to them. They're, they're really, really good quality. It says um, made in India. Oh, it says to use with pillar candles. Use with pillar candles. Place away from flammable materials. But you can do whatever you want with them. They are, they are absolutely beautiful. Okay, I have no clue what these things are, but I just loved the way that they looked. So I'm thinking they would be just good as little decor pieces, or you could put some floral in them, and that would also be beautiful. They're kind of like this off-white color with this antiquing in them, and then they have this design in the center. I just, I love these as well. I got one piece of Krill artwork. I love the colors in this. It will be perfect in a little girl's room. It does have some aging spots here. So you could either leave it exactly like this and hang it up. Or you could reframe it and just kind of cut that out. Because uh, the picture itself is in really great condition. We just have this little bit of aging down here. And then I got two of these so I got this one I'm about to show y'all what it is this one goes vertical and this one goes horizontal so I have two of them this one's a little bit bigger do y'all know what this is it is a spice rack and look it has all this stuff on the inside that shows you what spices to use with what meats and things like that so you have this pretty picture on the wall and you open it up and it hides all of your spices. I love that. This is not um, glass or anything either. So I personally really like the strawberry print, but I'm not crazy about this one. So if you wanted to, you could definitely just put something different over this. You could even put this in a bathroom and then you could have, you know, perfumes and cosmetics and face products and all those, you know, little things that you need in a bathroom. So yeah, I feel like there's just a variety of uses for this and I've never seen one like this. So I was excited and picked up both of them. So that's just a few of the items that I got from the Overflow Outlet. There is definitely so much more. And all of the items that I showed you, plus more, is available on the website right now, juliesdesignsandsigns.com. Y'all remember in December, I will have a sale every single Tuesday. I am just trying to get rid of all the stuff that I've accumulated, that I haven't used that I've thrifted and the stuff from my Louisiana home. Now, I'm not sure if I'm gonna have a video up Friday. Most likely I will not because we have to go close on our house next Monday, which is very exciting. And my husband was supposed to leave this week and I was supposed to leave Friday evening so I could finish my work week out. Well, y'all, 
my truck broke down. <laughs> so I'm not sure what we're going to do now, but I don't think I'm going to have time to do another video. Life has been just very lifey lately. <laughs> so I'm just going to, I just decided, you know what, I'm not going to stress about it. For the next few weeks, I'm just going to put out one video a week. So it'd either be like a haul video like this or a thrift flip DIY video, just depending on what I have time to do until the kids go back to school. That way I could kind of get my life organized and together spend a little bit of time with the kids while they are off for school. So even if I don't have a video that goes up next Tuesday showing y'all a haul, there will still be new items available on the website. I'm going to keep listing and posting. I'm about to have, you know, hours of sitting in the car ahead of me where I can work on that kind of stuff. But of course I will post reminders so y'all do not forget. So I just want to give y'all a little heads up, let y'all know what was going on. Y'all leave me a comment below. Let me know what was your favorite item, both from my home in Louisiana and also from the Overflow Outlet. And don't forget, if you are interested in starting your own online store, go check out squarespace.com slash Julie's Designs and Signs, and they are giving my viewers 10% off, and I will have a link to all of that in the description below. I hope y'all enjoyed today's video, and I will see y'all in the next one.